yourselves into that winter wind. Brr. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. Here at the scene of the marriage proposal, and our two uh, engaged over here are uh, romantically uh, laying concrete together. So, <laughs> doesn't get any better than that. Andy has accepted Tomasov's marriage proposal. Yeah, that was from last time. All right, um, let's get this going. Let's finish up over here. So we've got power. We just need one last little bit right here done. We'll have heat for tonight, uh, possibly. We've still got to charge that battery. Um, building concrete. Where are you actually? Oh, you're just walking over there, Tomislav. You are over there. Who's got the? Handy's got the fastest run speed. Handy, why don't you work on this? Why can't I right-click on anything in here? Okay, let's look at it another way. Power? Right there. Okay, so this is in, right? Are you charging? You're not charging. What am I missing here? Uh, that is on. So we've still got something to build here. I would power conduit, so this is real. Okay. Let's figure that out. Power conduit, why are we not connected? They were connected at one time. What changed here? I don't know. That's interesting. Anyway, um, you are actually thankful for that. Where's Tomislav? You in the area? You are not. Tomislav, where are you? Right there. You are up here hauling steel to battery. Oh, good. Is that the end of the steel? It is. You gonna get it all? Let's find out. It says he's heading he's hauling twenty-three, it just means he's going to the stack with twenty-three. He's actually only gonna grab what was that? Uh, fourteen. So let's do this differently. Haul that one. And that one. Alright. Let's get it all down here once and for all. And you're heading all the way down around to get to here. I'll try to stop you at this point. Then we'll get the last of this conduit in. Uh, I haven't actually set the heater, have I? I have not. Let's do this, this two different things here. Let's get a campfire going, for starters. That's probably the easiest way to get instant heat into this building. And then let's get a heater in... Oh, is that a heater? That is a heater. Okay. Handy. Let's have you specifically get that campfire going. And Tomislav, let's drop that right about, oh, right there at that lower curve. That's good. And great. You're going to take care of that for me. And then probably finish this off too. What was that? Successfully tamed a wild boar. Oh, good. Wild boar too is, is ours now. All right. With that, you are now charging. You are now charging. Connected rate and three is stored. Okay. So we've got... Power being stored. We're nearing the end of the day, and we don't have a full sunlit day, so we're not going to get a full charge out of anything. But nothing in here has been built to use the power. We do have some warmth in here now, though. And we're at 29, 30 degrees. We'll see that warming up for the night. I don't think these guys will show any stress as far as being cold now. While boar one is doing just fine, so they got fur coats, they're good for a while. It's when we get to really cold temperatures that there's a problem. Um, so Handy is bringing wood into all the sleep boxes, so she's getting all the construction done that's been waiting all this time. That's good to see. Let her just go and do all of that. We could certainly use some haulers to bring all of this wood down here, so we don't have all this these, these trips to, to take. Otherwise, what is today's plan? Um, Gnarly brought up it'd be a good idea to get a horseshoe pit in here for these guys. And I'm going to pause for a second. I got to look at these guys before I started. And there's some interesting things in their, uh, in their descriptions here as far as their needs. So Zoya is getting a plus four right now because her rival Tanner died. So Tanner is one of the enemies. And Justin, same thing. Uh, my rival, Tanner, died. He's getting a plus five out of that one. And even Matt, who lives up here right now, um, gets a f plus five because my rival, Tanner, died. And my rival, Happy, died. So apparently, these pirates were even pirates to each other. So they were uh, 
They had they had made enemies amongst themselves. Thought that was kind of interesting. Justin though is got has got a negative. Where did it go? Was insulted. I've been directly insulted. What an awful person. So another 22 hours of a negative five there. I couldn't figure out who that was. There's nothing in the uh, in the list back here that mentions insulted. Just that listen to Klaus and rejected the offer. Where's Klaus, by the way? Klaus is sleeping right there. Okay. Um, got the hospital bed back in Tomislav's room. Got uh, this bed built, so I made that a mat bed, even though it isn't actually a bedroom at this point. It's going to get disturbed sleep, but soon this one will be done because Handy is back to constructing again. But also on the list, Lady Shell made the comment that the vegetables won't go bad near as fast as the meat will. We could build a little room right in here and shift the vegetables into it. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. And that way there's more room for meat and animals and uh, meals over here. So that's something to consider. I didn't want to do any more mining, any more you know, building of the temporary place at this point, but we could do something kind of like that and then pop in a wall. Uh, what do I want here? Structure. Wooden wall, something like this. A door right there, just to make it easy to get to each half. And just refrigerate this part. We could leave the door open in the wintertime when the refrigeration isn't a problem. And then we could um, you know, close that off and just get residual cold in here for other times. I don't know. We could do something like that. Know that it's truly necessary right now. I think we'll keep that as a as a backup plan if we start getting more um, food in that we can handle again, like we had right here. Had to quickly mine that out. So if we run into that problem again, we can separate things out. Right now we're doing okay. That got done finally. So let's uh, structure granite wall right there and get that finally finished off. Now something I've noticed from the very early days of playing Minecraft, uh, Minecraft, uh, RimWorld. Um, outdoor temperature 41 degrees. The mountain also counts as outdoor temperature in 41 degrees, including two spaces in right there. One space in, it counts as the temperature of the room. So there's a little play with temperatures in there. So what I'm concerned about I, what I would be curious about is if we did mine this out for veggies, would we have the 90 degrees of summer temperature surrounding it, but not refrigerated? Would it actually go against us later? So that's something maybe to experiment next summer, game summer. But we'll we'll see how that goes, how the how the game interacts with all that. Um. One more thing, let's see, Michael had brought up the fact that we probably want to get a double bed at least built and ready. We could do that. I would think it would be Tomislav's job to build his marriage bed for the, for the couple. But Handy, let's find Tomislav right there. I always lose him because I think he's at the end. Um, character, he's got construction skills, but he doesn't have any passion for it, whereas Handy has got a lot of passion for it. So it seems appropriate in this case for Handy to build it. And probably a better chance of getting a quality one first or second try. What we might do is just pop in here, furniture, and build double bed, and find a place to build two of them. I guess out over here. Uh, hopefully, they, well, I think it probably will mess up our, uh, our stockpile, but that'll be fine. Have her build two of these, take the best quality one, break down the other, break down both of them actually, and just have them sit there waiting and then move in the right one when they decide to do their marriage ceremony, which is entirely random. It could even be after the winter's over. Don't know when it's going to be. Okay, can I get this thing running? Nope, there's one more thing to do. Um, where did you go? Right there, Matt. You get a new name. Long, awkward pause, waiting for the game to break. There it goes. You are now Michael. So Michael is back in the game. He was with us for Alpha 13, like Klaus and Kathra. And Rabbit was too. So Michael is now back. And who is Michael in this game? Michael is a 
child still, 18, so he doesn't have an adult story. Okay, so he's a youngin. Michael grew up in a modest but privileged family who encouraged him to play chess and shoot skeet at a young age. As a board, board student, he found joy in challenging his teachers about the contradictions between his planet's official values and their government's policies. <laughs> so, what was that? Gave him a shooting, a plus two, and an intellectual, a plus three. Okay, so that's right there and right there. And that's about it, except for dumb labor. It won't tell me why. Does it say in there? It does in there. Uh, plant cutting's been disabled, hauling's been disabled, and cleaning's been disabled. Okay, so otherwise, psychically dull. So Michael's mind is psychically out of tune with others. He isn't as affected by psychic phenomena, so 50% less sensitivity. Depressive. Michael is perennially unhappy. He has trouble sustaining a good mood even when everything is fine. Permanent mood effect, negative 12. Ouch. I'll have to get him the tinfoil hat for when we have a psychic... No, sorry, don't worry about that because he's 50% uh, um, not sensitive to it. Okay, and trigger happy. Pew, pew, pew. Michael just likes pulling the trigger. He shoots faster than others, but less accurately. So his time between bursts is going to be much faster. And that should show up in the, uh, the information of, of the weapon he's carrying. So... I'm thinking, now last series, Michael was a miner, and this time he's going to be stone block cutting and mining as well. Once we, you know, he's only a two, but he's going to be one of the folks that are going to help us dig out that base, which is going to increase his mining skill. But he's also into art. And he's also one in the comments that likes to bring up him from, uh, little uh, comments about all the art that happens, like the fact that I forgot to sell this one after I said I was going to. But uh, there it is. Anyway, so I think he and Cathra are going to be probably our colony's artists. We'll see how that goes. Once we get into the base, though, not going to be a lot of art going on at all. Though I might have Cathra pop out one or two more before the wedding and just see if we can't add that to this. If we find one that is, you know, comically appropriate, that might be kind of interesting. Art was here. Catherine's already got one started. No, that's just part of the art bench. It's part of the graphic. So, Bill, let's go ahead and turn this back on again. It already is. Just make one. It isn't to keep one in stock. Okay, there is one there. So, we've just turned her her, uh, her work schedule off. Cathra, we're at the top this time. Art over there, because we've got you plant cutting first, and then we got you hauling. Okay, let's go ahead and, and do that. When that one is done, you'll go back to hauling. Okay, so we'll see what happens out of that. Right now, Michael is making lots of more granite blocks, which is important. Cathra is playing horseshoes, and would like to... Unfortunately, I, I'll disrupt that. How needful are you? Joy is right there. Mood is actually a little bit low, so I'm going to leave you alone. Um, 20 hundred hours. I'd love to get some stone blocks hauled and get this for outer layer at least supplied so the handy will head down there automatically and get to work you guys are building in here and building up your your relationship and social had a nice chat with handy had a nice chat with shantigo so handy now likes you at a plus 61 instead of a 60. we got to work on on handy there <laughs> klaus shantigo not getting along with kathra or natalia at the moment handy is getting along with pretty much everyone, though kind of iffy on Michael and Natalia. Okay. Anything else in there that was interesting? Try that again. Social. I glanced through these real quick. Just a proposal. Otherwise, just normal stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so over here, we are powered, functioning, connected, the whole works. And to here, we got a campfire lighting the place up. We've got 51 degrees. Still a little cold for sleeping in here. We don't have the the apartment actually built for for uh, Sangria yet. That's where she wants to be. And that'll be fine until we end up deciding if the barn's going to stay there long term. It may end up back in here behind a wall and, who knows, you know, built into where this used to be or something. But that's that's the barn for now. We'll, we'll, we'll put it that way. Um, anything else going on? We have quite a few blocks up in this area already, don't we? Get that pile over there. Let's pile over here. These are going to tear down, though. They won't tear down until they have built. Unless it's a roof. So that 
probably a good thing. Oops, my fingers are on the wrong buttons. I'm trying to go up and rolling down. Hannah, you are hauling wood. Hmm. Let's get a whole pile of wood brought in, whether it's to the sleep box or not. Let's just get a bunch of stuff brought in and, and no more trips. Tomislav, you do the same thing. Hop up here and bring a bunch of wood up since you're in this half of the map right now. Still have a deer up here to bring in. Cold snap is over. Woohoo! Deer, 84 of 100. We need to make that happen. So, Thomas Lobby, do that instead. Let's just get that in. Consume. No, haul deer. And anybody else up in this area before everyone goes to bed? Kathra is hauling hair. Okay. And it's under a roof, so it's fine. You can bring wood in. Who else is down here? Let's get all the stuff hauled while you guys are wearing a cloth toque. Okay, we can do that. So I will shift and bring this in. Cannot will never do hauling. Urgh. Boy, Michael's going to have it easy. Rabbit, I can always bug you. Sewing an area. Sewing an area. What area? You're going... Oh, you're... No, there's no plant. What are you sewing? Sewing an area. I can see it to here. Oh, it goes over here. It goes... <laughs> um... No. Can I say don't sew this anymore? Deconstruct. Uh, plant day lily. Can I say none? No, rose or day lily. I can forbid. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So in that case, rabbit, because I turned off all sewing outside as far as individual fields. So that one really surprised me. So let's send you up to grab some of this, uh, this, uh, these logs as well. Uh, that one over there should do. There's still several trips worth up there. Okay, and that was the end of all of the iron up here, too. Yeah. So, we're out of steel. I'm debating whether to specifically have them come up here and make a bunch of steel, or just get started on the base and see if we run into any steel at the same time, you know, get to mining our base. You are compacted steel. Well, that answered my question. Trip down into here and get to work. Hmm... Though this is actually queued up to mine, and this is not. Okay, well, let's just do that. Orders is not on this side, so it's over in this area somewhere. Um, orders, mining. You, most likely you. Then we'll, well, we'll do three more. And then we'll see where the vein travels after that. Uh, Hamlet's bringing out the components from that space there. Good. Uh, Natalia is making a duster. She's a night owl, or she's been turned into a night owl. Shantigo is resting. Is, are there any? There are. Shantigo, can you haul all of the granite blocks to that area before you do that? If it's already assembled, then then uh, Handy will actually will build that tomorrow when she wakes up. So grab 15. It's 5 per. Yeah, 15. Great. I can stop you when you start building it. You don't need to build it. You just got to supply it. Need to get some cleaning done in here. And what happened up here? Michael went and got his toque. He's now resting. The dogs are jumping into there. The puppies are to rest. And we did get some kibble back over here. That kibble up there was set to critical. This was set to important. So I, I made them the same. That way they won't steal from one to do the other one. Thomas off head to bed. Rabbit's head to bed. Uh, this meat needs to get in soon. Michael is resting. Rabbit is resting. Kathra, everyone's going to bed. All right. So we've got Divot, Utah, Utah, and uh, Churchill in there. Sangria is coming back probably from... I wonder if she was playing with Boomalopes. I didn't notice. These guys need to be tame, but they're a long way away. Hmm... And there's still this over here. This Ambrosia bush. 27% grown, growth rate of zero. But I was kind of surprised this survives the winter. I figured this is just creates a drug that uh, makes you super happy, right? If I remember that right. Uh, pleasurable to eat and produces a slightly addictive chemical warmth. Oh, it makes you warm in the winter. Ah. Slightly addictive or highly addictive? What did I read? Slightly addictive. Is there an addictive? Addiction chance here? 
grow time, lifespan. This is the bush. So we probably got to click on the actual product to find out how addictive it is. Is something you want to want to uh, keep available just in case? I see a wild heel root here ready to harvest. It didn't die in the cold. All of our others died. Interesting. I don't see any. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, I'm ready to harvest. Ah, sure. Harvest that one. Let's take a peek around here. I didn't think any of that existed anymore. Orders, harvest. What else is around here? There's one there. I don't want to send them out too far. Um, I will do that one. Just kind of a, a perimeter nearby. Like this lower half over here. Don't see anything. If I just run across, we have one right there. And we actually have a berry bush? No way. Raspberry bush. Okay. How did that survive the cold? Okay. Incapacitated refugee opportunity. Before I do that, let's just run this again. And I see we have something else up there. More bushes and heel root. Okay. What is in this area that I don't recognize? There's three bushes. Huh. Okay. Yeah, why not? All right, what is this? Jessie Oaf contacts you on radio and requests help. She is wounded and unable to move. Without your help, she will die within five days. It may be dangerous there, so beware. This is heading to another part of the map? It is. Okay. We're not ready to go heading out. Don't have any pack animals. Don't have the ability to carry food with us. At least not that I really want to get into. I want to build a base. I don't want to get into the little side excursions yet. It's an interesting quest, though. So it would take us what? Here from, I think it's right click? Yeah, right click. So 3.3 days away. Um, planning mode uses the default caravan speed. You may Your speed may vary. Okay. So not going to go there. Turn you back off and let's get out of this. So eventually, once we get a, a base established, we'll start looking at all those little side quests and have fun with some of them. Maybe practice for before we take off to build a second base, whenever that's going to be. Episode 50, 100, I have no idea. Anyway, so turn this back on. No more distractions. You guys are okay. Let's get more flooring in over here. So let's get somebody, probably Rabbit. Hugh's got his mining turned on to specifically come out here tomorrow and get to work on this. What is our pathway into here? We need to kind of plan the rest of the base out to verify that that hallway truly is going to go all the way through. If so, we could wall this in door and door and run the hallway in. We can start mining out the base from the comfort of, of our own base. A couple of doors there just to seal it off in case we you know, dig too deeply and greedily and wake up something in there. Um, Klaus is attempting to recruit, but he's going to put these fine meals away first. Mm, let's try that again, but let's, you know, haul them to there instead. Really? Oh, that's ten of them. How many are stacked out here? <laughs> okay, well, let's, um, try that again. So, we're going to grab them all this time. Now we're going to put our auto save, our one over there. Well, we'll come back for these later. You can do that. And you can still try to attempt to recruit Justin. And then shift and let's have you haul the rest of these away after. Okay, that worked. Now, Michael's probably getting a lot of disturbed sleep sleeping here, unfortunately. No. It didn't happen. So even though this is still considered a room, the building materials aren't in place. Klaus going through, maybe it's so many spaces away to actually trigger a disturbed sleep. So maybe that'll still work. Good. Daytime's coming. And I notice our batteries never deplete. Very much. So 979 out of 1,000. So we still don't have a whole lot of, of electrical draw. You know, the, 
the the little turn of the wind turbine. You know, even that much wind is enough to kind of top us off. Uh, Klaus hauled these in. Great. That's all done. And drop those off. So we've got a meal count of what? Over here somewhere, right? At the bottom. 28 out of 50. Okay. Because I've got 50 queued up. All right. So who's up and how and why? Handy, you're consuming a fine meal. Then oh, I forgot to turn off uh, Shantigo from building that. So we got one of them built. Klaus is block cutting. Interesting. Let's look this over. Klaus. Because I needed somebody at the time to really get to work on this. Instead, cooking? Sure, we'll get you butchering. And then you'll drop into hunting, which isn't happening. Then you drop into construction, 7 of 20, or mining, 6 of 20. Construction. Let's work on that wall. Let's get the gauntlet finished so that we can uh, be done with that. That little quest we just got there and incapacitated someone out there. I thought at first it was the one where somebody is fleeing the pirates and running onto our map and asks to become part of our colony in exchange for protecting them from the pirates that are chasing them sort of a thing. Which usually goes against you. I mean, morally you don't want to turn someone away as asking for help. But it usually turns out to be a, uh, you know, a depressed pyromaniac that... Uh, that hates all living beings or something like that. <laughs> you usually pay for being nice to someone in this game. Cathra is harvesting all these little raspberry plants. Which may have been a mistake. I might just leave them out there. Okay, now that I think about it, give the animals something to eat. We have deer out here. Are you guys left over from the herd or are you just wandering in? And look at that, the warmth from the steam geyser. That's yeah, kind of neat. They thought of that. But are you the beginnings of a new herd is what I want to know. Who's entering our map? And what's the chance we're going to have Muffalo on this map? We've got this guy we could go hunt. We really do. What was your run speed? You're 3.5. Let's set that one for hunt. There's a lot of meat that'll come out of that. What else is up here? And where did that cougar go? I never answered that last time. Don't see them. I am seeing leaves coming back, though. I'm seeing this little pockets of green showing up on the map again. We're at 35 degrees. We're above freezing. So we're still in, in autumn, essentially. But it's still too much to, to grow. I'm not seeing a cougar. Now, animals do come and go. They leave the map. Whether that one took a permanent residence or not, I don't know. Let's just glance across the top of the map here on our way to looking for a uh, surprise muffalo herd. That would be a nice surprise. I'm not seeing anything in here that reminds me of the shape of a cougar. There's a fox and a wild boar and a squirrel. No, I think we're fine. But let's go ahead and survey the rest of the map. What are you? You're a spilopede. What are you doing out here? I've never seen one out in the wild like that. You are wandering. Have you guys ever seen that before? They normally would come out of a nest and they would stay within a certain distance of that nest. Interesting. Little predator out there. Kind of a, a danger to, uh, well, to Sangria going out to tame these boomalopes. We've got to deal with that one. Rabbit's out here. Rabbit, what's your your speed? Where'd you go? Where did you go? Okay, I'll turn it back on. There you are. And your run speed is 4.3. Rabbit is a 4.5. Rabbit, new target. Can I mark you to hunt? I can't, can I? No. And there's no option to, tr to, to tame them either. <laughs> All right, Rabbit, you you are into combat mode. Can you fire at? You cannot. Go up a little closer. And in fact, go over here. Okay, so we got to run you back to the gauntlet real quick. We'll take you from this side over here. Stop moving. Making this tougher. Don't go behind the rocks. Okay, over here. All right, fire at. 
Okay, now you're being hunted. Okay, another shot. Another shot, come on. Oh, we're, we're about there. Okay, stop. Rabbit, let's take a run all the way back to here. You've got the speed on him, so you should be able to gain some distance. Another one. Are you merely attacking rabbits? Where are these guys coming from? Are they really spilling out of here? Well, they're not down here anymore. The hive's gone. The hive's gone. I wonder if the cold took out the hive. In which case, they are not... Um, oh, you, you could be on your way into us. Both of you are. Ooh. They're no longer beholden to the hive. They're no longer there to protect it. So they're out roaming loose. Okay. We've got something to do. All right, Rabbit, you head all the way on in. Come on into... Into here. Handy, need you to go a little further so you don't drop it in the doorway. Thank you. In fact, a little further till it closes. There. Draft you, and let's see Rabbit in. Why don't you come out to... Oh, to about here. Now, Tomislav, you can fight right alongside Handy. So, hmm. Actually, let's kind of bring both of you more like to here. Side by side, so no one's in front of the other. Klaus, need your help. Come on out here and hop into this position for now. Who else is around here? Who else is outside? Let's, let's start there. Rabbit, nobody. Now, everybody else, let's think about... Where did you go? Right down there. Are you guys... You are kind of moving in. Do you have orders? You're attacking a wooden dining chair. You're actually ready to attack us. I just accidentally discovered that attack. That would have been uh, quite interesting. Michael, you don't have a weapon yet. And you can shoot. Nothing over there. We do have this one. Had. If I know, up here. All the way up there. Cathra. This one, it's poor quality, 48%. Okay, we'll pass on that one. So, Michael, let's get you armed with a... What? I want to say... Do we... We don't have... Well, we do. Right there. These are 47% and 68%. <sighs> Six with a passion. I don't know if I want a machine pistol on you. Okay, Michael, you're heading for... Actually, this one. Equip that one. And then we'll get you into here we're gonna have them rolling into here now natalia is sleeping she's got a really slow run speed so we're gonna leave her there shantigo draft you and come on out to here and now our run speed is going to be slow because of the snow but there should be slow as well animals let's get you guys in sight so right into there all of you Okay, that's Michael, that's Chantigo. I haven't seen Sangria. You are out here. <clears throat> You're out in this area. You are taming a wild boar. Um, hmm. The problem is, if I don't do something with you, I'll forget about you, and you'll just come wandering on through and and kind of land in the middle of it without uh, without realizing it. So let's send you specifically to here. And you can help contend with these guys. So with these guys, we've got Michael and Shantigo and Natalia and Cathra. So you draft, you come on down here as well into this area. And we'll figure out specifically what to do with that. You guys are all heading into place. Rabbit is running back. He's faster than all of them. These guys are worrying me, though. These are a little more significant. Yeah. Okay. So, Handy's in place. She's probably going to shoot a rabbit. Rabbit, how about you go north and then over to here and then drop in? Let's try that. You can lure them away as long as they don't take you down right now. So, Handy, actually, let's undraft. It'll restart you. Mm. Let's reposition you to there. Tomislav, the same. 
Okay, that should give us the timing I need. All right, so you guys can do all that. Uh, Klaus, you're also going to shoot right through Rabbit's path. So you head to here. All right, so that's you there, and you. That's two of you. Okay, no others? No, no little tiny ones over here. No, nothing else is moving. Okay, you guys are out in the open. So that's the tiny one, right? No, that's a spielipede as well. I'm trying to remember what was out over there. So we have three of these guys, three spielipedes, one of the bigger mega spider. So what's happened to all the little ones? I wonder if they were affected by the freeze or if they wandered another direction. Let's unforbid those while I'm thinking of it. Could they have gone deeper in? Oh, we got daylight showing through here. Not seeing anything like that. Ah, well, that's these two, okay. So if they had wandered out, nothing is moving when I just unpause it real quick. Okay, so it looks like we're dealing with just the four at the moment. All right, so we're shooting into these guys. And this guy is taking a little big, you know, a lot of beatings from all the different uh, rifles. This one hasn't been shot yet, right? Right. Uh, once. Okay. All right, so Rabbit is going to outrun them. He's going to get in here. These guys are going to be shooting at them, though they're going to eventually shift and come at Handy and Tomislav. So let's get them over here with Klaus. Um, actually, Tomislav there, Klaus there. All right, so they should not shoot each other, and they can all get through that door real quick. All right, you guys are going to be down here. I need someone to get off a quick shot. Shantigo, you've got a decent run speed. Let's get you to here so you can... Hit them first thing. You've got a revolver, so that's a big boom. Think 357 Magnum with that one. Natalia is up, and she is consuming a fine meal. Needs she her food is way down, but she's fine otherwise. Let's drop that. The dogs will put it away. So all the animals did get taken care of correctly this time, right? I'm not forgetting anything. We've got a wild there we have another wild boar that wasn't even in a zone yet so that one's gonna where's number two wild boar two train for that one set for rescue and wild boar one let's see what's that one for hauling so we'll just kind of get these done while i'm thinking of it and we'll deal with the rest of that later so you are where right now you're right there are there two of them in there I do the right one. Um, animals. So where's one? Ah, you're facing me. I didn't see you. Okay. So you guys are all in there right now. Okay. That's all taken care of. Kathra is heading down here. They're going to come in on the north side. Okay. Kathra's run speed was 4.2. Yeah, let's get her on the on the house side. Get her through the door if she needs to. Natalia, I think I'm going to use you for one shot. Draft, let's go here. Shantigo, you're going to go next to her so nobody shoots through each other. Kathra, you are kind of heading to right there. So you three are fine. Michael is head heading out here as well. He's got the most range. And his run speed was slow. He's got a pig leg. I'll have to fix that someday with a, a bionic leg. Health. Um, okay, let's try that again. Needs. No? Health. You don't. What am I thinking of? Justin? One of these had a pig leg, right? Uh, Zoya? Justin does. Oh, okay. So, Michael, what is your run speed then? Michael, right there. 4.57. Oh, good. So you can shoot and you can run. I can send you out on, on hunting parties and all that. That'll be good. So you'll be kind of the, the hunter minor artist. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so, Michael, you've got a good long range with that. Let's put you right... No, that doesn't work. Right there is what I want. Put you right there. Although, you don't have the angle. Okay, let's put you... I guess in the water. Get you the shoot the furthest down okay so is that everyone assigned to something now all we need is a jailbreak that's that's the sort of distraction i'm sure they're waiting for all right over here first everyone's moving into position 
Down over here, we should just about have a shot lined up. Just about with Michael. Right there. He's aiming. And they're out of range, right? Just entering range. Though it's possible the Shantigo is blocked right there. He goes just a little further up. Alright, so that's going to get exciting here real soon. Up here, we should already be shooting. We are. They've changed their, their direction. Rabbit and... No, Rabbit, but they're going downhill to do it. Okay. Hmm. For some reason, all the fans on my computer just turned down real quiet. Like, like the computer is suspenseful of what's about to happen and paying attention. Okay. So, a couple more shots here, and I've got to look up north. Actually, Shantigle, you're kind of shooting through them right now, aren't you? I'm going to put you there. Natalia, let's reposition you to, like, here. And by the time you get there, this one will be further enough, far enough above that they won't be shooting each other. That's my thought. Right? Okay, well, i got to pause to see what's going on up here. Did you guys ever change course? Rabbit, you can just go right there. You? Oh, no, you. So, still... Oh, you're going after Klaus now. Now you're all going after Klaus. As if he hasn't been beaten up enough this series. <laughs> okay. We're getting close here. Your run speed is 4.5. Michael, 4.57. Kathra, 4.2. Let's pull you out. And out, I think, means inside. I don't see any way around that right now. Nowhere else for you to go. Michael can outrun him. This one is a... What would we say? That was a 4.2 also? 4.3 and 4.5. Okay. So Michael can outrun him, but only barely. So we're not going to get far enough ahead to be able to get another shot off. And your cooldown. We haven't looked at the cooldown on this yet. This is the first time we've used a bolt action rifle this series. So your cooldown is what? Warm up at 1.9 and cool down at 1.2. It's a long one. Okay. So, Michael, you are out of here, too. And, Shantigo, you've got the revolver. You're the best. And you've got the best run speed of this group, too. And, Ka Natalia, I think we can, there's still time to give you your one shot. I think. Your run speed is 3.6 now, not the 2.5 of before. Okay. Right there. Boy, that shot went off quick. Let's give you one more. Okay, and it hit. Now, Shantigo, you're out of here. Natalia, you're out of here. You guys are out of here. All right, everyone's in sight. Over here, you guys have turned. We've taken one down. No, these guys are resilient. They're still coming. Ah, one's down. Both are down. All right, you guys, I need you down here. Into this area, we'll reposition you later. Let's just get running. Okay, otherwise we still got this guy coming in. This guy is going after Shantigo, who runs faster. Natalia is my worry. No, nope, she's doing fine. Sangria's out here. She just arrived. Aha! There's Gandalf coming in to save the day. All right. So you guys, and you, Sangria, you've got a run speed of at least 4.5. Yeah. So you are going to bait them to run and let these guys all come back outside again. Just in time for these guys to arrive. Ooh, that sounds, sounds pretty good, yeah. All right, so that's four up there. That is one, two, three, four, five over here. That's all nine of us. Four and five, yep. Okay, you are now doing what? You're fleeing. Standing. That's kind of new. I guess there's nobody in range, though Sangria is. I guess it's just a percentage chance of fleeing. This one's not uh, not going after. Okay, uh, I'm not going to flee. Let's see here. Sangria, if I put you here... Yep, you'll go that route. So you lead this one around. And then I'll send you... Well, I don't know where. I don't know where this guy's going to land. But that does mean that I can get somebody back outside. Michael... Hmm. Very slow cooldown and warm up and all those sort of things. Shantigo's got a pistol. You're going here. Natalia, you're going to go right next to him. 
And Cathra, you've got a pistol. All those are quick ones. So I'll put you a little further out. And what do I do with Michael? Let's wait a minute. Actually, let's send you out another door. There are no other doors in this side, though. Over here. Let's send you to here. Okay. And you'll come around this side if that turns out to be useful. Alright, so Sangri is leading him away. This one hasn't chosen what to do yet. These guys are all on their way down. Boom. Who are you going after? Right up here. Let's get these guys in place quickly so they don't spend so much time running. You there. You there. You there. And I missed somebody. Handy. Kind of there. So that'll get you started. And most of you should be in range even for this guy. Alright, there. Boom. Okay, we're going to be out of range soon. You are now after Rabbit. He said, who shot me in the butt? You're off in that direction. You're over here. You guys are all out of range. This is where Michael would have actually done well there. Let's get you over to here. Okay. You guys are all in range to do some good over here. All right. Sangria is fine. We are shooting over here. Oh, we've changed our mind. Let's just keep plowing at this guy for a while. Your new run speed is now 1.4 because you have been hit how many times in the brain? Ah, I've got a brain shot there. We've got in the shell, I think it's torso. <laughs> the right eye, the rear right leg, the front left leg, the front right leg. Yeah, he's he's going down in the pro, pronotum? Pro, pronotum. Okay, that must be a bug part. I wonder if that's what the head now. Maybe that is like a, the tusk or the horn or the tail. I don't know what that would be. But you guys are in range? Not really. Okay, this whole crowd can go over here just in time to shoot Sangria. Sangria, you're heading this way, okay? <laughs> Actually, you're all the way to there. Okay, so you're going there. You guys are all shooting this one. Michael's going to come around the corner and shoot right through you. Yeah, you guys head up a little bit. That should be fine there. All right, with all of that, what have we got? Nobody's going to shoot through anybody else, right? That one's down. We're shooting up here now. There's a barrage. Michael can actually shoot through? He can. Okay. And is it a kill shot? Oh, it was. Woohoo! That was a shot in a lifetime there through all the trees and across the river and yeah good so needs health yeah you're done <laughs> sangria is just i'm gonna take you out anyway all right everybody can stand down i think so no more danger no more danger i can't mark them to to hunt though so you're dead um that's everything that was in this area. Uh, the one that turned the corner here. Sangria's already got her meal out. Rabbit, why don't you draft? I can't do anything but do that and fire out. Okay. And the other two, dead or not? Right up in here. You don't look... You know, you're downed and you're downed. Okay. Well, who else is nearby? Who could use some target practice? Let's think of it that way. Michael, you've got a passion for it, and I'd love to see you at a 7 soon. So let's take you to here. Now, hopefully I will remember. You're up there shooting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Rabbit, um, go over here, please. Thank you. Those brambles, I know, they're, they're, they're in the way. Okay, now fire at. What did I just see there? I clicked. I right clicked and it gave me my architect. That surprised me. Right click brings it up. Huh, I never knew that. Fire at. Thank you. That's done? It's done. Rabbit, you're done. Okay. You want to relax. 1,400. Yep. 
over here. And then I need to get handy building. I need to get everybody hauling. That's what I need. Everybody hauling stone to this stuff. Um, Michael, that's who we're waiting for. Puppies. I'm hearing puppies. All right. You guys are all there. Wild boar, all you guys can be over here, which makes you close enough for Sangria to uh, train you. I'm not... Well, I can't put the puppies with you anyway, but I think I don't want them heading all the way out there to the boom lobe area. So, assigned two. Let's say none right now. The only one that's assigned is Sienna. Because Ham still has not bonded, right? Social? Nope. And animals? None of these are listing any kind. Will it tell me? Does this say bonded too handy in any sense here? No, oh, right there. Bond. But if they're... I'd have to click here. Natalia needs level 3 have 1. Because of the training still necessary? Might be. Okay. But one more time. Um, alpaca. No. Okay. Alright. So, in that case, Sangria is playing chess. Wrong one. Needs. And your joy is fine. So, that's just a suggestion. It's not necessarily a rule. Can you fill that with granite blocks? Michael is busy. Rabbit. Needs. Is joyed out pretty good, too. So, you can do that as well. And who else? Cathra. And needs joy. I'm going to say you're fine, too. You bring a bunch of blocks over to there. And who else is around here that can jump in? You guys are already eating. Tomislav is playing chess. He's he's doing really good. Is there anything left? How far did this automatically prioritize? Already reserved by. Reserved by. Reserved by. Yeah. When I assign them to do it, they'll cover the entire area. Even though they're not actually going to fill the entire area. The game gives it to them as if they were. Okay, horseshoes. That reminds me. I talked about it, but didn't do it. Alright. Um, joy. Horseshoes. For you guys. What is that noise? Cooking. No? Like a hissing noise. I don't know. It was a s I don't know if you guys heard it. it. Wasn't the campfire. That was really weird. Um, my bed's going to go there. Cargo pods, pause. Let's put it right here. We'll do that. And I want to put one inside as well. All of ours are outside. Maybe right here. And they can throw horseshoes down the length of the place. Okay. Um, cargo pods. Where? Detected is over here and it will be coming in soon. Boom! Just one. It is. Seven components. Yes and thank you. Who? Okay, I don't need you building it. just need you bringing this stuff. Oh. Yeah. Let's send Sangria over to get this. Lost ya. There. And let's get Michael back to the job that I wanted him to do when I knew I was going to forget all about him. And just leave him out here. There we go. And Cathra, you don't need to do that either. Let's clear that one and just have you bring more. Just want the goods delivered. And Michael clearly needs some practice. So we'll, so we'll have to babysit this. Handy, you're going to go build that wall. Okay. Um, you got a good run speed. Let's have you carry more blocks into this area. Okay, we got a hit. We're shooting this one, right? So they're close enough together. I figured I'd just have to set one to kill. And he'll manage to take them both out by accident. <laughs> so, Cathra, let's have you now, very carefully, haul blocks to that one. Just avoid the bullets. Okay. And he's done a good job there. Let's have you... Draft and go here first, because you're going to cross Michael's path, and then undraft and bring all the wood. Mmm, you're already eating. Never mind. Okay. 
Oh, you got it out. You're just going to drop it if I don't. Let's have Tomislav bring... I don't want them to pick up this wood here. 16. I'm going to go for a whole load of it. All right, let's do that. Okay, Michael, let's get this done. We we got we got a wall to build here. <laughs> Catherine, you need some practice too, don't you? You kind of do. Why don't you give Michael a hand here? Of course, you got a much faster uh, firing speed. If you want to train them, it's always best to use pistols, because they will get so many more shots in for the same amount of time. Fire at. And so they get skill per shot. Michael did that great shot all the way across half the map to hit that one. And now, now he can't hit the side of a barn. <laughs> Handy, you are doing... Oh, I wanted to stop Tomislav before he got too far. And I did. And you made it to here. I was hoping to stop you right there. Let's try that again with Handy since i got to hang around out here anyway. Haul that wood in, but this time stop right here. Come on, guys. Okay, we've got the shooting gallery here. And Utah, you are really going to walk in there, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay, just stand there for a moment. Let Utah go through the firing range. All right, the three of you. Do that and fire at that thing. Oh, no, no, Michael, you go over here. Okay, fire out. None of them can hit it. <laughs> Sangria, you're going to have to go over here and show them how to do this. Come on over here. Alright, there. Alright, use your... Oh, you've got a charge rifle now. You might, won't be able to do it, huh? Your, your 357 Magnum. You know, one shot to the heart and it's done. We're destroying the wall that we put in. Okay. Oh, that was painful. Alright, guys. <laughs> Let's reset this real quick, and I'll have one of you haul the stuff to it. Structure, granite wall goes right there, and Tomislav, you can prioritize haul, no empty, accessible, slot config, no, not that. Build, where's my build? Work on, that's what I want. Okay, you can do that and drop that in there, and are we safe now? I didn't stop you guys again. Okay, let's do this a little differently. Let's have Tomislav just work on that. He'll bring the wood for this area. Handy, you work on this, and he'll bring the wood for this area. You grab the 16, unfortunately, not enough. But if I tell you to do it again, and actually just stand down a minute. Let Tomislav grab all of that. Um, try that again. Build this one. Bring it all. That's 55. Oh, well. Handy there and build this one. I want him to hit up here and get a full stack of... The wood's gone. Not good. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to do some plant cutting. Hate to do it in here, but it sure be convenient to not have to go outside the walls to go get it. Ah, <sighs> 47 degrees out. It's kind of warm. Okay. Um, hmm. Time is it? Oh, we're coming up on an hour. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I need to turn this episode off. What I might do is, first thing in the morning... Either if I'm doing this on my own or next episode, I'll have to get somebody triggered to go and pick up all of the different... Hmm, that's not going to be that easy. They won't stack it as they walk. They make all individual trips. So I guess we're just here to get this one. Let's just set someone to bring this one in on their way to bed, because this is going to be bedtime soon. So, Michael, you are busy cutting stone blocks, and don't bug me. And I want the stone blocks, so that's fine. Natalia won't haul. Michael won't haul anyway. That's right. Churchill. So we've got... Who? Sangria is taming wild boar. Actually, let's have you finally bring this one in. I've been waiting to do that for many episodes now. And Tomislav, hate to bug you, but I'm going to have you bring in this one herbal medicine over here before it goes bad. 
And was there one more? There's one over here. I could send Handy on that long trip. She's got the fastest run speed, and she could make the trip back in and go to sleep right after that. So let's do that. We'll get to constructing this wall next time, now that most of the building materials are in. All right, so unless another bug is hiding somewhere. Cathar, what can you be hauling in? Is there any kind of other steel just sitting around? Rabbit, what are you doing? You are hunting a mega sloth in the middle of the night. Well, hopefully that goes okay. Yeah, I'll leave you alone. But, um, Kathra, how about you just bring Michael a little present? Let me say we set these guys for haul. And, Kathra, you can bring in the furthest one. Haul that one in. And Michael can turn that into blocks for us. All right, well, that's enough for this episode. And, actually, that was an interesting uh, attack there. Something that... I didn't get a warning to it, just happened to stumble upon it. That would have been uh, quite interesting had I not noticed. All right, this has been Noble Rambler. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.